<laughs> yes, here, here, here we are. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely location, it really is brilliant. But it's also taken us right back in time, hasn't it? Yes, there are really impressive fortifications up here. They are How impressive. Old would they, be? they are impressive fortifications. But the funny thing is, with this site, there are things that take us even further back than that. Because we have cairns, which probably yeah. take us to the Bronze Age, and all over the site, lithic stone tools, which take us even further back than that. So that would be what, 6,000 well, years? Easily that. Yes. Easily that. But you're quite right, the thing that really makes this site stand out are the banks and ditches here, because this takes us into the Iron Age. Mm. And uh, with many of the big Iron Age fortifications, you get multiple banks and yeah. ditches, that's called multivallation. This is univallate, you only have the one, but you just have to look at the location and you can see why you don't need <laughs> any more. It's a natural fortification, Absolutely, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. So who would have built these amazing fortifications? Well, we're right in the heartland of the people who were called the Silures, and I think we're on a, a, a pretty safe basis to say that this was one of theirs. Now, they're the ones that you've been doing a lot of work on, aren't they? It is, uh, and, and we've been finding out more and more about them. Uh, fascinating people, they really were. Hmm. How, how do we know about them? Well, historically, we know most about them from Roman accounts. Now, are they the ones who gave the Romans such a lot of trouble? The very ones, ah. and uh, there seems to be little doubt that the Silures caused the Romans a huge amount of problems. Uh, they conducted a successful 25-year guerrilla war, and that's saying something. Well, good for my Silurian ancestors is all I can say. Yeah, absolutely right, <laughs> I quite agree. And i tell you something interesting about the Silurians mm. and the local area, and that yeah. is that the ancient Qumran society mm has been doing some really interesting work about Celtic art, and there's a Silurian theme. Ah, so it's not all about fighting. There is stuff about art and culture as well. There's that as well. Yeah. And we have a, 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 a man who can probably tell us all about it. It's brilliant. Let's go and have a word with him. Right. Richard, can you tell us a bit about this Iron Age art project you've been running? Yeah, um, as a sort of introduction for the locals to Iron Age Society, we run a small art project. Um, we investigated Iron Age art, and what came from that really was just how sophisticated these people are. I mean, it's, it's people's art and culture that you really judge the level of their society. And we discovered that they were incorporating a geometry and advanced mathematics in, wow. within their artwork. They certainly understood um, technical drawing uh, to, to quite an advanced level. That's absolutely amazing. I mean, you, you don't think of that with Iron Age warriors, do you? It's, it's wonderful to think of that sort of work actually being done here. I, what would it have looked like? What would this place have looked like well, when the Salieris were here? It, it, it's fascinating to speculate, isn't it? We know that in the Iron Age in Britain, people lived in round houses. Mm -hmm. So I think we'd be fairly safe to see on the other side of this rampart, round houses, but also probably other sorts of activities, metalworking that sort of thing, and, and producing the very sorts of art that we've been talking about. Yeah, so a huge amount of actual Iron Age activity going on right up here on top of the hill then. Absolutely yeah. right, yes. Yeah. And the interesting thing about this hill is, uh, that isn't the end of the story. Right. And uh, the next stop on our trail isn't very far at all, it's just up here. Right, and that's going to take us forward in time again, isn't it? Is it is a bit. Right, okay.